members? Yes, yes, teacher. So far, so good, right? Yes. Good, 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 good. Uh huh. Now we are going for which question now? Which question? That was question number. Now we look at question number four. Okay. Okay. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So let's write this one down. The figure below, the figure below, the figure below. I'm giving this one because these are common questions. The figure below shows a ray of light, a ray of light, a ray of light, which goes, which goes, which goes through successive which go through successive reflection which go through successive reflection by two by two by two mirrors by two by two plane mirrors by two plane what mirrors m1 and m what m2 inclined inclined at 120 degrees to each other to each to each other full stop so let's draw the let's draw it So this is our M1, this is our M, M2. So they've said this angle is what? This angle is 120. So a ray of light from that point incident there, okay? Mm -hmm. From there is reflected, is what? Eh? Is reflected. Then again, from this point, again, from this point is reflected. Again, from this point is reflected, like that. So, this is our normal. Our normal is here. Then from here, our normal is here. Our normal is there. That is our normal. So it's incident from there, like that. Reflected from there, then reflected from here. Okay? Members, is it clear? No, sir. Hmm? It's teacher. Yes? No? Yes. It's not clear? Not yet. That is Lamuno, not so. Is that one Lamuno? Yes. Okay. You draw it. So the question is they're saying if if the angle, if the angle, if the angle of incidence, if the angle of incidence on mirror, on plane mirror, on plane mirror. M1 is, is 40 degrees, 40 degrees. Fine, fine angle, fine angle beta. Fine angle beta. Where is angle beta? Angle beta is here. From the diagram is there. Mm -hmm. Then this angle was given to be 40 degrees. Members, are we together there? Yes. Good. Uh-huh. So we have seen the diagram. They're saying the figure below shows a ray of light 
which go through successive reflection by two plane mirrors, M1 and M2, inclined at 120 degrees to each other. So the two mirrors here, hmm, they incline at angle of what? 120 degrees. So the ray is incident from here. The angle of incident was given to be 40 what? 40 degrees. But now, when we are discovering, we have discovered that the angle of incidence, the angle of what? Incident is equal, to the, is equal to the angle of what? Reflection. Did you, did you discover that? Do you remember that? Yes. Uh -huh. So which means this angle, what is this angle now, remember? What is this angle? What is that angle? This angle is also 40. It's also 40, what? It's also 40, 40 degrees. degrees. Uh -huh. If that angle is 40 degrees, which means what is this angle? What is this angle here? What is that angle? Remember, this line is 90. This one is 90. It's a normal. So it's going to be 90 minus. Which is what? Which means this angle is what? That angle is what? 50. 50 degrees. Now, what about this angle? What is this angle? What is this angle, members? Look at the diagram. What is that angle? Yes? Patricia, 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 Patricia. Uh, members, what is this angle? What is this angle? Look at the diagram well using your geometry. So this angle is also going to be what? This angle is also going to be? 40 degrees. Which property is that? Alternating? Angle. Alternating. Angle. Angle. Now, what have you seen here? I see this is a triangle, not so. This is a what? Triangle. That is a triangle. Or, first, wait, 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 wait. This angle is not going to be 40, please. It's not going to be 40. Let's, 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 let's get it first, okay? Yes. Mm, that angle, this angle is not 40. Let's proceed. Let, uh, uh, they are not alternating. Why? They are not alternating because... This ray, they are not transversal. These rays are not what? Transversal, okay? Yes. Yes. So which means if this angle is, if this angle is 50, if this angle is 50, which means let's say this angle is what? Let's say this angle is Y. Let's say this angle is what? Is Y, okay? So which means when we look at this, this is a triangle. We said what's the angle sum in a triangle? 180 degrees. It's 180 degrees. So which means we shall have Y, Plus 120 plus what? Plus 50 to give plus us to give us 100 and what? 80. 80. So which means we'll have y plus what? 170. Hmm? 120 plus 50 is 170. Not so? Yes. So which means our y will be 180 minus minus 170. So y is what? Y is what? 10. 10. Yes, please take note of that. Take note of that. Mm -hmm. Y is 10 degrees. So if it's 10 degrees, now if our Y is 10 degrees, what is this Y forming? When you look at the ray diagram, what is Y forming? Is it a glancing angle or an angle of incidence? Angle of incidence. Angle of incidence. Look at it well, members. Look at it well. Look at it well. This is the reflecting surface. This is a reflecting surface, not so? Yes. Which means this one, this reflected ray becomes the angle of incident on mirror two. Okay? This becomes the incident yes. ray. And angle of incident, we say, is the angle between our normal is here. No, so Are you seeing our normal? Yes. Uh -huh. Which means this angle is what? What is this angle? This angle is a glancing angle. Glancing angle. Are you seeing that? Uh -huh. yes. So which, which means we must use it, we must find this angle first. Have you seen that? Yes. But even before going far, yes. they want us to find this angle beta. Not so? Mm. Uh -huh. Now, when you look at these two angles, what, are, what, what can you say about this? They are equal. They are equal. Eh? They are what? Alternating angles. Yes. Not so? Okay? Yes. Alternating or corresponding? They're alternating or corresponding. These are corresponding angles. Okay? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, and we say corresponding angles are what? <coughs> are, are equal. So which mean, you said, Y, Y and beta are what? Corresponding. Are corresponding. Are corresponding what? Angles. So which mean Y is equal to what? Y is equal to? Beta. beta. Therefore, beta is equal to what? What is B going to be beta? Beta is going to be what? 10 degrees. 10 degrees. As simple as that. But if they were asking for, if they were asking for angle of incidence, if they were asking for what? Eh? Let's, let's say this is Roman 2. Let's say this is Roman 2. Angle of incidence. Angle of incidence. Angle of what? Incidence. On mirror. On mirror M what? On mirror M2. So what are you going to do, members? We have got the glancing angle, not so. Our glancing angle is what? Is it 10? Not so? Yes. Yeah, huh? So let's level it here. Let's say this is our angle. Let's call it I2. So this is our, our I2. That's I2. So which mean I2, I2 plus Y must give us what? Must give us 90, not so? So I2 plus Y must give us 90 degrees. So which mean I2 is equals to 90 degrees minus what? Y. But Y is equals to 10 what? Y is equals to 10? Degrees. So therefore, in flying right, sorry, I2 is equals to 90 degrees minus 10, minus 10 degrees. So what is our I2? Our I2 is what? Degrees. Is 80. 80. Is 80 degrees. Are you together, members? Yes. Yes. Takes note of that. Takes note of that. Takes note of that. Mm -hmm. let's look at the next one i want us to give as many as possible on this question okay okay yes so this is number what number five now number what number five number five they're saying if if the ray if the ray a b the ray a b incident incident on M1. yes are the questions supposed to be shown on the screen no the, this question they are not they are not I'm, I'm trying to check they are not in this book okay okay yes i'm getting them from the question bank okay okay yeah yes i'm getting them from the question bank that's why I'm, i won't have to give them to you you write them that's why i'm writing them down okay Okay. Mm -hmm. If the red if the ray A B incident on M1 is reflected, is reflected, is reflected as shown below, as shown below, comma, find the angle, find the angle of incidence, find the angle of incidence. Find the angle of incidence I. So the red diagram is here. The diagram is here. Hello. I have this. And another mirror there. So when you are doing the reflecting surface, one side must be coated. One side must be what? Coated. So this is 70 degrees. So this is M1. This is M2. That is M2. So a ray of light is incident there. Like that. Then from there is reflected. From there is reflected like that then from here is again also reflected it's also reflected it's 
also reflected like that. So which means our normal will be here. Our normal will be here. I said for normal we use dotted line. Why do we use dotted line? Because, because the line is what? Imaginary. The line is what? Imaginary. So it's not real. We assume it's there. So that is that from there. Then from here is like that. So this is A, B, C, D. Like that. So they have given us this angle is 60 degrees. That angle is 60 degrees. Then this angle, they have called it angle I. So they want us to find that angle. Are we together, members? Yes. Yes. Good. Good. So now, they want us to find this angle I. They want us to find that angle of incident. But before we get that angle of incident, there must be some steps we must take. No, sir? Yes. Uh -huh. So let's analyze our geometry. Our geometry. So now, if this angle, let's start from this one where I was given, okay? Because that's why they have given you. So which means your work must start from there, okay? So they have given yes, us, yes. the two mirrors are inclined at 70 degrees. Then this one is 60 degrees. What is this angle, members? What is this angle? Is it a glancing angle or angle of reflection? Glancing angle. It's a glancing angle, not so? Uh -huh. Yes. So what is this angle here? What is this one? What is that one? That's the angle of reflection, not so? Angle of reflection. It's the angle of reflection. So how are we going to get this angle? Remember, this is a normal line, which means this angle is what? 90 degrees, not so? So which means yeah. to, get, to get this one here, what do we do? It's going to be 90 minus? 90 minus 60. Which will give us what? So, so that is 90 minus what? 60, which will give us start at what? 30 degrees. degrees. So which means this angle is start at what? Degrees. Uh, what is this angle, members? What is this angle? That's the angle of what? Incidence, no, sir? Yes. Uh -huh. And we have discovered that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of what? Reflection, which means this angle is angle also what? Reflection. That angle is also, is also 30 degrees. Not so? Yes. Uh -huh. If that is true, what is this angle? What is this angle? What is this one? What is that angle, members? This 60, angle is 60. 60. So this angle 60. is what? 60 degrees, corresponding angles. Corresponding what? Angles. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know this angle. I don't know this what? Um, angle. So let's call that angle P. Let's call it what? P. So which means when you look at this one, is it forming a triangle? Is it a triangle, not so? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So which means 60 plus 70 plus P must give us what? 180. Must, must give us 100. 100. Must give us 180. So it implies now. So it said considering, considering triangle. Which triangle is that? Which considering? Let me say this is O. Okay. Okay. Considering yes. triangle. Considering triangle. O. O. B. C. Okay, consider triangle O, B, C, okay? So which means it will give us 70 degrees plus what? Plus, plus 60 degrees. Plus, 60. plus P. Plus must, must, must give us 180. If that one is true, we are all convinced, not so? Yes. Uh -huh. 70 plus 60, what do you get? 130. We get 130 plus P equals to 180. So which means it implies that our P is equals to 180 minus what? Minus 130. Therefore, our P is what? 50. P is 50 what? P is 50 degrees. degrees. Do we stop there? Do we stop there? No. 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 That's, that's, a, that's, that's a one way to our answer. No, sir? Yes. Now, members. When you look at angle P, 
what is that angle? Is it a glancing angle or a reflecting angle? Glancing. It's a glancing yeah. angle. Good, because the angle between is between the what? The reflected ray and the what? And the, and the reflecting surface. And the reflecting surface. Uh-huh. Which means, what is this angle? What is this angle, this small one here? What is that angle? That's the angle of reflection, not so? Yes. Have you seen it? Because this is the incident. Yes. Is incident and reflected. Okay? Uh -huh. If that angle is R, so now, which means that angle between the reflecting surface and that and the normal that angle is 90 not so yes uh -huh. so which mean p p plus r must give us what members p plus r must give us what degrees. very good p plus r must must give us 90 what 90 degrees uh -huh. so p plus r must give us 90 degrees so which means R is equal to 90 degrees minus what? Eh? Minus P. Minus P. So our R will be 90 degrees minus, what is our P? Minus 50 degrees. Minus 50 degrees. Therefore, our R is equal to what? 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Is that what we are looking for? No. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we said, but angle of incident is equal to angle of what? Reflection. We have discovered Reflection. that. Uh -huh. So therefore, I is equal to what? 40 degrees. 40 degrees. 40 degrees. As simple as? That. But to find B. They want us to find. They want us to B. find I. Not so? Yes. yes. I believe I'm clear, members. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for following me very well. Thank you. Welcome. Amy. 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 Yes, teacher. Are we together, Amy? Yes. Very good. Vanita, are we together? Vanita. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What about Maya? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Lamuno. Lamuno? Yes, teacher. Are we together? Yes. Very good. Cynthia is with us. Cynthia, I'm very sure Cynthia is with us. Wendy is also with us. Alexandra, we are together. We are all together. Yes. Very good. So is there any question? There's no question now on. So that is enough, members. How many, how many questions have we done? How many? Five. We have done five. five. So if you fail any question now on this question, you need, I don't know. When you come back, I will I will organize a special prayers for you. Novena. Um, I will I will I'll put a novena for you. For nine days. Mm, for nine days. <laughs> Sub aiding members. Type of reflection. Types of reflection. I've sent these notes. People have these notes. What are the types of reflection? What are the types of reflection? Those who read. I want to see those who are reading now. What are the type of reflections? The senior three is why. We have. We have. Regular. Regular reflection. And then what? Then diffuse. irregular, diffuse. irregular. Which is it? Which is diffuse? Yes. 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 Yes, please. Patricia. Yes. Patricia, I'm not getting you, please. Yeah, your network is not stable. I can't even I can I cannot even hear your question. So we say um
Yes? Yes, please. Patricia has problem with network. Patricia, you, you can connect with me on WhatsApp after, after the lesson, then I can help you, okay? Because your network, your network is not good. So we said there are, let me just take you where the note is. Let me just give you the notes. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hey. Let me just take you where the note is. I'm not giving you here. This in this note is not there. So let me give you. We said there are there are two types. There are two types of reflection. There are two types of reflection, and these are, and these are, write these ones here, write this one here. Regular reflection, then diffuse or irregular reflection. Are we together, members? Yes. Let's start with the first one, regular reflection. Let's start with the first one, regular reflection. Regular reflection. We say this is, this is a type of reflection. This is a type of reflection. This is the type of reflection where, where a parallel, a parallel beam where a parallel beam of light, where a parallel beam of light, incident, incident on a smooth, on a smooth surface, on a smooth surface is reflected, is reflected as a parallel beam reflected as a parallel beam by the surface by the surface after reflection after reflection okay members are we together yes mm -hmm. the key word there is it parallel beam incident on a smooth surface on a smooth what surface is reflected as a parallel beam after what eh? after reflection after reflection. reflection so full stop it occurs it occurs on a smooth what eh? it occurs on a what a smooth, a smooth or a plane or plain what? Surfaces. Okay? Yes. Such as plain mirrors. Such as what? Plain what? Plain mirrors. Plain mirrors. Uh -huh. Let's draw it. Let's look at the ray diagram. The ray diagram. The ray diagram for what? That is our reflecting surface. So we have beam. We said beam is a collection of light rays, not so? Yes. Uh, so don't draw only one. And we said parallel, the line between the distance between the, the light rays must be equal. Must be what? Must be equal. And is reflected and is reflected as a parallel beam and is reflected as a parallel beam. And all must be at the point of incidence. All must be at the point of what? Incidence. So don't forget to put the arrow there. Don't forget to put that arrow. Mm -hmm. so this one is reflected there. This one is reflected back there. This one is reflected there. So this is it. Incident, beam, then this one is a 
Reflected what? Reflected what? Eh? Beam. Are you together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Two. Diffuse. <coughs> diffuse or irregular reflection. Reflection. This is a type of reflection. This is a type of reflection where a parallel parallel beam of light of light incident on a rough this time is a what eh? is a rough what rough surface rough surface the other one was smooth okay is scattered is scattered in different direction is scattered in different what Direction, directions directions by the surface by the what the surface after after what reflection after reflection full stop it occurs it occurs on a rough what? On a rough? Oro? 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 An even. An even. So those are the words they use. An even oro irregular. Irregular surface. Says. Okay? Yes. Mm. So which means the surface is not? It's not a plain surface. It's not a plain surface. It's rough. It's inclined. It's regular. Those are the words we use. So let's let's look at the ray diagram. Ray diagram. That is it. Okay. Members. Yes. Are we drawing? Are we drawing? Yes. Mm. So the red rays that are incident are parallel. The red rays that are incident are what? Are parallel. Are parallel. Are parallel. So make sure that at least when you are drawing, make sense. Make sure that the distance between these ones are equal. They are equal so that because we say parallel beams, these are lines which will never meet. So make sure that at least the distance between them are equal. The distance between them are what? Are equal. So after that, they are reflected. They are reflected. You may see that this one is reflected like this. This one might be reflected like that. Mm -hmm. This one might be reflected like that. Mm -hmm. This one might be reflected like that. Have you seen that? Have you seen? So this one yes. is reflected there. This one is reflected here. Then this one is reflected here. So after reflection, they are scattered. They are what? Eh? So this is the incident beam. Incident beam, then this is reflected what? Reflected beam. Then this is a rough surface. This is a rough surface. This one was a smooth, a smooth what? Surface. Members, are we together? Yes. Good. Good. Members, we have only four minutes remaining. We have only four minutes remaining. Subheading, laws. Laws. 
of reflection, laws of reflection of light. Laws of reflection of what? Light. You write, there are two laws. There are two laws. You can see them on the screen also. Are you seeing the one on the screen? The, yes. laws, the laws of reflection. The first one, you write it down. The first one says that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal. At the point of incidence, all lie on the same plane. All lie on, not in. All lie on the same plane. All lie in the same plane, sorry, should be in, yeah, in, in the same plane. All lie in the same plane. All lie in the same, in the same plane. Okay? So let me just give a simple sketch here. Let me draw my ray diagram here so that you can see it from there. If this is a reflecting surface, if this is a reflecting surface, Light is incident there, is reflected there. This is the normal. So this is the incident. Uh -huh. So we are saying that this is the incident ray. Incident what? Ray. Then this is what? Reflected. Reflected ray. This is angle of incident. This is angle of what? Reflection. So we said the first one, the first law states that the incident ray, the normal line, and the reflected ray all lie at the point of what? All must be at the point of what? This is the point of what? Point of incident. They lie on the same plane. The same plane, which means they are on the same side. They are in the same phase. Right together? Yes. Yes. So that's the first law. Uh -huh. Then the second one, which we have discovered it by ourselves when we are doing calculation. What did we discover the second one? The second one we discovered when we were doing the calculations. Who still remember? Who still remember that? The angle of incidence. The angle of incidence. Is equal to the angle of reflection. Uh -huh. Good. The last one is the angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. So the angle of incident is equal to the angle of what? Reflection. The angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. Are you together, members? Yes. And when they ask you in yeah. exam, you must state them in that order. You must state them in that what? In that order. You start by saying the first law of reflection of light states that the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal line at the point of incidence all lie in the same, in the same plane. Then the second one said the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Okay? Yes. Yes. Members, any questions so any questions so far? Any question? Yes. Any question? Can I have a question? Yes, please. Yes, please. Actually, if you're asked to write the laws of reflection, should they be in this exact order or? Yes, the exact order. They must give you, you must be in that exact order. Okay. Yes. And when they say laws, which means you must write all of them. Okay? Yes. There are times they, they, they trick you. They may say, state the law of reflection. Okay? They may say, state the what? The law of reflection. Which means, if they just say like that, state the law of reflection, which means you just pick one and you state it. You just pick any of them and you state it. Okay? Yes. But if they say state the laws, which means you must state all of them. Okay? Yes. yes. Members, I think we can stop there for today. So when next time when we meet on Monday, we shall look at the experiment to verify the law of reflection of light. Okay? Yes. Yes. Members, thank you for being good.